Thank you, Dave. Uh, I'm Clay Bavor, and I lead the virtual reality team at Google. And, and, uh, and yeah, just to get right to it, virtual reality is coming to Android N. <laughs> so it all actually started at a Google I.O. two years ago with Cardboard. And since then, Cardboard has done some pretty amazing things. There are millions of them out there in the world in all shapes and sizes. We've enabled thousands of developers to build their first VR app. And users have installed over 50 million cardboard-enabled apps. We think that's pretty good for what is, after all, just a piece of cardboard. Now, we love cardboard. And for us, it represents so much of what we think VR should be about. It should be mobile. It should be approachable. It should be for everyone. But we knew it was just a start, because there's a limit to how much you can do, how immersive an experience you can create with some cardboard and with phones that were really only meant to be phones. We wanted to create something that has the best attributes of cardboard, but which is also comfortable, richly interactive, and far more immersive. But to create that kind of immersion, you have to solve, you know, to make your brain say, yep, I'm somewhere else, you have to solve a lot of really hard problems across all parts of the VR experience. You have to design a system that's capable of rendering at very high frame rate and resolution. To make the experience really comfortable, you have to minimize what's called motion to photon latency. That's the delay between when you move your head and when the picture updates to reflect that motion. And you need to solve for how you interact with things in VR. And when you nail those things, it just feels like you're there. Well, we've been working on these problems and more. And now what we've built won't be available until this fall, but we'd like to introduce you to it today. We call it Daydream. Daydream is our platform for high-quality mobile virtual reality, and in it are all of the ingredients you need to create incredible immersive VR experiences. Now, over time, Daydream will encompass VR devices in many shapes and sizes, but today is about how Daydream will enable high-quality VR on Android smartphones. And there are three parts to it. The smartphones themselves, including VR optimizations to Android N, a reference design for a headset and a controller, and apps, both how you get them through Google Play and the apps themselves. We've designed and built each part in concert with the others, with a focus on getting the end-to-end -end user experience just right. So let's start with smartphones. Now, the first thing we did was look at what it takes to build a smartphone that's great at being a smartphone, but also at being the core of a VR system. And with input from the major silicon vendors and smartphone manufacturers, we've created a set of phone specifications for VR. We call phones that meet these specs daydream ready. And the specs include things like high performance sensors for accurate head tracking, displays with a fast response time to minimize blur, and powerful mobile processors. And if a phone meets these specs, it'll be capable of delivering a great VR experience. But the smartphone itself, it's only part of the story the operating system, the software, it needs to be able to make use of all of these capabilities, all while keeping latency to an absolute minimum. So we've introduced what we call VR mode as part of Android N. We've worked at all levels of the Android stack to optimize it for VR. And we focused in particular on performance and latency, which we brought down to under 20 milliseconds. By adding things like single buffer rendering and VR system UI, so notifications and alerts come through properly in VR. And all of this makes for a really comfortable VR experience that we think users are going to love. Now, it's important. These improvements are part of the core of Android N, so that the entire ecosystem can benefit. And what that means for developers is there are going to be a lot of daydream-ready phones. In fact, Samsung, Alcatel, Asus, Huawei, HTC, LG, Xiaomi, and ZTE all will have smartphones that are compatible with the Daydream Ready spec, and several will be available this fall. So that's phones with Daydream Ready phone specs and the VR optimizations as part of Android N. Let's turn to headsets. Now, this is obvious, but a, a VR headset, it's something that you wear on your head. And because it's something that you wear, there are so many things you need to get just right. It has to have great optics. It has to be comfortable. The materials need to feel good, and it needs to be really easy to put on and take off. 
We've taken what we've learned in all of these areas, and we've created a reference design for headsets that will work seamlessly with Daydream-ready phones. We're sharing this design with partners across the ecosystem, and there will be several of them coming to market with the first available this fall. Now, when it comes to VR, everyone thinks about headsets, but the controller, how you interact with VR, it's just as important. And we wanted to create a controller that's optimized for VR, that's both powerful and intuitive. And so we've been working on a controller for Daydream. It looks like this. And if we actually zoom in a little bit, you can see the controller itself, it's very simple. There are a few buttons and a clickable touchpad so you can scroll and swipe. But hidden inside the controller is the magic. We've built an orientation sensor so it knows where it's pointing, how it's turning. You can do some pretty awesome things with it. Let's have a look. As you can see, the controller, it's super flexible, and the developers we've shared it with absolutely love it. Now, the controller, too, will be part of the reference design that we're sharing with partners, with the first available this fall. Okay, so we've talked about smartphones and operating systems, headsets and controllers, but ultimately, that's not what VR is about. It's about what you can experience. So let's turn to apps, what you can do in VR. Now, first, if you're a developer, you know that there's a lot upstream from someone using your app or playing your game. Users have to find it in a store, buy it, install it, launch it. Well, this will all work seamlessly in Daydream. And that's because we've built Google Play for VR. Users will be able to browse and search and buy and install VR apps in VR. And once you've installed an app, you can keep coming back to it from what we call Daydream Home, which gives you access to all of your favorite games and apps. Let's actually talk about some of those apps, the things you can do and the places you can go. Our partners like the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and CNN are bringing their VR apps to Daydream, so you'll be able to experience the world's news like you're actually there. And Hulu, Netflix, HBO, even IMAX are bringing their libraries to Daydream, so you'll be able to watch shows and movies in a virtual cinema or an immersive 3D film in a virtual IMAX theater. Here's a shot from just one of the dozens of IMAX films uh, that will be available. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I, I am pretty fired up about hanging out with astronauts in VR. So, something else that's going to be awesome in Daydream is games. We've been working with the likes of Ubisoft and CCP, NetEase, and Electronic Arts. And these amazing developers are creating games that take advantage of all that we've talked about. And there are some really neat things in the works. We've also, we've also been working on some of our own apps. Google Play Movies is coming to Daydream, complete with high-definition DRM video support. That means you'll be able to watch movies and TV shows from Play, but in a virtual movie theater. Street View is coming to Daydream, so you'll be able to walk the streets of the world you know, without having to fly around the world. And Google Photos will support VR photos, so you can step inside and relive favorite moments. Uh, and there's one more, YouTube. We've rebuilt YouTube from the ground up for VR. In it is voice search, discovery, your favorite playlist, again, all in VR. And we've added spatial audio, improved VR video streaming, so you'll be able to step inside the world's largest collection of VR videos and experience places and concerts and events like you're actually there. And by the way, you'll also be able to watch every single standard video currently on YouTube, but in a very different way. And we think people are going to love it. So that's Daydream, our platform for high-quality mobile virtual reality. 
daydream-ready smartphones with VR optimizations as part of Android N, a comfortable headset and a powerful, intuitive controller, and some amazing apps and experiences. All designed in concert and open and at the scale of Android. Now, Daydream arrives this fall, but you can get started developing for it today with the latest Android developer preview. And we'll go into that and more tomorrow here at 9 a.m. So that's it for VR and Android. To tell you about wearables in Android, I'd like to turn it over to David Singleton. Thanks. Thanks.